வணக்கம் வெல்கம் டு தசட் பீஸா ஐம் காஷ்னா ஜெயக்குமார் ஃப்ளேக்கி ஆர் லேயர்ட் பரோட்டா இஸ் வாட் வீ வில் சீ டுடே very yummy and a delicious uh, kind of tiffin it it just forms layers like that and it once you start eating it just melts in your mouth now let's look into how to do this great dish 2 cups of all purpose flour or maida quarter cup of corn flour 1 teaspoon of rice flour salt to taste 1 teaspoon of oil water Now first to the all purpose flour I am adding corn flour Then we will add the required salt To this add oil First mix this well And then you are going to add the oil just 1 tsp of oil will do this rice flour we are not going to use it now we will be using it at the later stage first let us pour some water and mix this well and this should not be like uh, chapati dough or puri dough it will be little more uh, softer uh, dough so what we have to do is we can pour some water and really knead it well now this is very sticky use the same technique as you knead the chapati dough just keep doing like this it should be like this sticky one so that you allow them to rest for half an hour by then they will become the stickiness will go and then you can knead it well again now after 30 minutes look into how our uh, dough is see it's still sticky see what i'm going to do is take some plain flour dust it on it and now we can be easy for you to remove so your barota dough is ready just now you need to knead it the more you knead can you see how uh, the appearance has become very nice and smooth so you will have to knead it like this so you get your nice uh, flaky parathas your parotta dough is ready now just leave this dough for another 10 minutes and start rolling out the parathas now to this 1 spoon of rice flour i am adding 1 spoon of corn flour make a nice mixture of this here our dough is ready go and start the process we we'll take a small bowl like this dust it with enough of plain flour we need to roll it down try to expand it nicely and then you can even roll out the edges we need not worry about the shape because we are going to make it round but initially any shape or a long one or a square one will do now i have made one thin chapati to this add some oil spread this oil carefully
it's done now here is our corn flour and rice flour mix just sprinkle and then spread it like this now have you heard about uh, fan or the paper fan or the japanese fan we are going to do it like that here one two here we have got so many folds now this one you are going to fold it around and make a round now your round shape is ready leave this to rest for 5 minutes so that you do the second one let your order be like this 1 2 3 and once you are again starting to roll it take the first one we have done three of them it's in the first second third order so i'm going to take the first one and show how to do this very softly and slowly we will be just spreading it not applying any force and just rolled it out like this so thereby I have spread the dough now let's see how we are going to do it on our stuff now heat your pan straight away go with the borota wait for it to form small small bubbles then we can turn it it will take some longer time it will not be like uh, chapatis because they are little thicker than chapati so we will have to wait now look there are small bubbles formed on on the this side of the borota this is the right time to turn it See, this will take a longer time than the chapati because the chapati is just one uh, single uh, roll and we have made lot of layers and we have folded it so the uh, chapati roll is really thick and it will take some time for this uh, dough to cook so what we have to do is wait patiently near our stove and turn it around like this now and then now when you see there are some browning on top of this barota you can straight away add the oil brush it nicely and turn it around after turning it on both sides we have to follow one small and simple step see take one more uh, spoon ladle of this type and pat your barotas very lightly like this just a small patty then they, some of them do it even after removing it from the fire it depends on the convenience now can you just see why you want to what you want to show you is look at the layers look at the layers here they are just coming out like this If you are going to do like this, what will happen is they get cooked also. So I try to do it uh, here itself. So my barotas are uh, really cooked well. Just some patting like this. You really feel delighted to see these layers on your barotas. So your barotas are done. And ready to be served. Our dear friends, look at our flaky parathas. Can you see the flakes? It's not magic. It has really happened. So this will happen to you also. See?
but remember do not add uh, too much of rice flour or corn flour so they become brittle then it should be only just a few pinch of these flours together so that the flakes are formed well dear friends enjoy this lovely flaky parathas with nice vegetable kurma and that you can see in those at pizza also so those at pizza always enhancing your taste buds Thank you. See you and bye-bye.